subscribe to our channel, and help us to spread the word. Catholic Meditation February 15, 2024 Lent, freely too, you suffer for me. The book is, Moses spoke to the people, saying, See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in His ways, and to keep His commandments, decrees, and laws, so that you may live and increase, and the Lord your God may bless you. Lord, I want to embrace life and prosperity. I do not want to be a servant of death and adversity. My God, I desire to follow your ways, which lead me to light and truth. Forgive me if at times I have sought other paths and embraced my selfishness and pride. May I fix my gaze on this Jesus who paves the way, who with his blood clears thorns and dries away the enemies of love. And the Son of Man must suffer much, be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, be executed and rise again on the third day. My love, you came to earth to suffer. You teach me today, you must suffer much, you must endure much. And this is because you, Jesus, love much, and your pain, your suffering, is proportionate to your love. The love you have for me is revealed through the pain you endure because every blow on your flesh, every spit, every insult you receive, every thorn of your crown, every nail that pierces you, seems little to you for the much you love me. And that is why you suggest that I also offer you the pains and contradictions that life may bring me. If anyone wants to follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross every day, and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life for my sake will save it. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world if he loses or ruins himself? Yes, Jesus, I want to follow you. Give me your divine grace so that I deny myself, forget about my ego, my comfort, my image, and simply follow you. My Savior, let me not seek to save my life, redeem myself, but let me abandon myself and everything in you. If I follow you, I will draw closer to the light of your love every time, and I will be able to deny myself for you, just as you have denied yourself for me. Mary, you knew from the very beginning that your son had come to earth to suffer. And you, mother, took him in your arms. And from the very beginning, you also gave your life for him. Mother, let me follow in your footsteps. If you enjoyed this guided meditation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And now, after this brief guided meditation, we will continue with a theological commentary on the passage LK 9.20.20. The passage of Luke 9.20.25 presents a crucial moment in Jesus' ministry where he reveals to his disciples his divinely ordained destiny. Verse 22 begins with Jesus declaring that the Son of Man must suffer many things, be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, and be executed, but on the third day rise again. This announcement is central to Christian theology, establishing redemption through the suffering and death of Jesus, followed by victory over death through resurrection. The reference to the Son of Man is significant, as it connects with the messianic prophecy of the Old Testament, particularly Daniel 7, 13-14, where the Son of Man is invested with divine and eternal authority. Jesus adopts this title to identify himself as the awaited Messiah, but in a way that challenges conventional expectations of a triumphant and powerful leader. Verse 23 adds an ethical dimension to Jesus' call, stating that whoever wants to follow him must deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow him. Self-denial involves renouncing one's own desires and priorities in favor of the divine plan, taking up the cross a powerful and symbolic image signifies a willingness to face hardships and sufferings for the sake of Christ. This challenging call resonates in the theology of the cross, where the paradox of redemptive suffering becomes the core of the Christian faith. 
Verse 24 highlights the paradox of losing life to save it, indicating that true life is found in total surrender to God and others. This message underscores the inversion of worldly values, challenging selfish mentality, and promoting a perspective centered on love and service. Finally, verse 25 warns about the danger of gaining the world at the expense of losing one's own soul. Earthly wealth and success are ephemeral compared to eternal life. This call to prioritize spiritual realities over material ones resonates in the theology of earthly pilgrimage toward eternal life. In summary, Luke 9, 20, 25, encapsulates the essence of Christian theology, emphasizing the centrality of Christ's redemptive suffering, the call to self-denial, taking up the cross, and prioritizing kingdom values over worldly ones. This message challenges Jesus' followers to live counterculturally, guided by the hope of eternal life, rather than the temporary rewards of this world.